Today, I'm going to show you how to log into Sora, look for a book, check it out, and read it. We're going to start in Clever, where I click the Soaring Blimp, Sora by Overdrive. And I'm going to click this green button two times to say that my school is West Contra Costa Unified School District. So I have to click it twice. Each student and adult in West Contra Casa has their own Sora account, so this one belongs to me. There are lots of things to look at in Sora, and the first tab I'm going to show you is the Explore tab. This is the Search tab. Now I can go up here to search for a book, but I'm going to use the Advanced Search feature. And this lets me try out many different things. Today I'm looking for a book that's part of a series about a boy named L. Ray Jakes, but I don't know how to spell L. Ray. I know his last name is Jakes, so I'm going to type that into the title box. I want to make sure that I find an ebook, and I want to make sure that I find a book that's available. So I'm going to check available books because I want to read right now. Now I'm gonna click search. And it turns out there are eight L. Ray, L. Ray Jakes books available. I'm going to choose L. Ray Jakes is a rock star. So I can borrow it immediately from this screen, or I can read a sample and see if this is a book that I actually want to look at. This just gives me a few pages to read, and it lets me preview the book. Now to go back to the checkout screen, I click in the top middle close it, I'm going to go to the record, and I'm going to go down and borrow the book. Now this book is on my bookshelf, and I can start reading it right away. A cool thing about Sora is that when you stop reading, it remembers where you are. So if I read to this page and then need to take a break, I can either just close Sora, or I can click in the top here, click on close, and when I'm ready to find my book again, it may show in the bottom, or I can go back to where it says shelf. When I open the book, it's gonna open right to where I stopped reading. Now, the search feature works pretty well if you know what book you wanna read. Another option is to use the explore feature and to browse through collections. On the main page, down here on the right, I'm gonna click collections and the school district has created some groups of books for you to flip through. I really like Magic Treehouse and Fantasy, so I'm gonna try out Fantasy and Science Fiction. Any of the books that say borrow will allow me to check them out right now. One of the types of books that we have is an audiobook. So this is an audiobook. I can click borrow. There's also the sample option. And when I'm ready to start listening, I can sit here and listen to the book just by pressing play. Now, if I'm finished with my books, I can go back to shelf and I can actually return them early. Go here, choose return, and I can return my book. You can only have three books total checked out of Sora, so you might want to return some early so that you can check out more books if you finish them. Click return here. The last thing that I'm going to show you is the unlimited use books. Right now there are special books for the summer and ev everyone can check out the book. So if I want to read Phoebe and her unicorn, all my friends can read it too. There's a copy for everybody. Again, I click borrow and you can see that the graphic novels show. Thank you for watching this screen recording about using Sora and you can check with your librarian if you have more questions.